Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial in Digital System Design. In this tutorial, we'll talk about ASM chart for Mure machine. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we designed the ASM chart for Miele machine. We discussed the components required to draw the ASM chart, which is by the way the algorithm state or system machine now the reason why we draw ASM chart is the fact that it tells us about the hardware requirement of a system we'll draw the ASM chart for 1 bit input as well as for 2 bit input for a 2 bit input a Mure machine the state uh, diagram will look a little complicated but the ASM chart uh, is not that tough to draw we'll see that with an example so right now we'll start with the uh, drawing of the ASM chart or the conversion of state diagram into ASM chart with this example now here in this example we have four states and the number of inputs are 1 so that is known from here so we'll start up with the first state which is S0 where the output is 0 so that is how we represent it it is represented using a rectangular box which is known as the state box also so state box S0 with an output 0 and now at this state we have two options either we can get a 0 at the input or we can get a 1 at the input when we get a 0 we go to state 3 and when we get a 1 we go to state 1 so we need to draw another state S1 whose output is 1 which is fixed so we get to this state 1 without having uh, to think about or worry about the conditional boxes that we used to draw in the Miele machine. So this is pretty simple. At S1 we again have two decisions to make at a 0 and at a 1. At S1 when a 0 is encountered we go to S0 so I'll take this back to S0 and when a 1 is encountered we go to S2 so S2 is another state which is represented using a state box and its output is 0 and we reach S2 from S1 when the input is 1 so at S2 again two decisions to be made for input at false or a 0 we go back to S1 so I go back to S1 and at 1 I stay at S2 and finally I have stayed 3 with an output 1 so again two decisions to be made 0 or a 1 a 0 at S3 will take me to S2 and a 1 at S3 will take me to S1 now a 1 at S0 Oh, I'm sorry, a 0 at S0 takes me to S3, so that was the only part which was not drawn. So I'm going to finish this chart by drawing that path also. So this completes our ASM chart for this movie machine, which is of course a machine with one bit of input. Now I'll take up an example of an ASM chart of a Mure machine with two inputs. 
We now take an example of a Moore machine with two inputs. In this state diagram, we have three states, and now I'll illustrate the process of. Uh, in now I'll illustrate the process of taking care of two inputs using three decision boxes. Now what happens is for two inputs x and y we need to take care of the fact that when the value of x is 0 0 we can encounter either a 0 or a 1 at y and when the value of x is 1 we can again encounter a 0 or a 1 at y so taking this logic into account we start off with the first state p which has a fixed output 1 which is drawn in the state box when we get a possibility of x as 0 we again have the possibility of y as 0 or a 1 and when the value of x is 1 we again have the possibility of y as 0 or a 1 so using the three decision boxes we get four basically nodes which have all the possible four uh, combinations of input so this is 0 0 this is 0 1 this is 1 0 and this is 1 1 so similarly we draw these decision boxes for all the states q which has an output 0 so I'll do x 0 1 again y 0 1 y as 0 1 and I'll go ahead with the final state r which has the output zero one so for all the possible states you'll need to draw a tree of decision boxes like this that will take care of all the four possible inputs now we can simply connect the states which is easy uh, so what I do is while at P if I have a 0 0 input I go back to P so I'll simply connect this to P now we need to carefully see while we are at P if we get a 1 1 we go to R so 1 1 is this so I'll take this to R. We don't need to worry about conditional boxes because the outputs are not changing. Outputs are related to states. That is what makes Moore machine different from Miele machine as I mentioned earlier. And at P, if we get a 0 1 or a 1 0 we go to Q. See this transition. So for a 0 1 or a 1 0 I am combining this and I am taking this to state Q. Now let's see Q. While at Q, if I am at 0, 0, I go back to Q. Easy. And at Q, if I see a 0, 1 or a 1, 0 as input, I go to R. So I again combine these two and go to R. And when I have a 1 1 at Q, I go to P. So 1 1 will take me to P. 1 1 will take me to P. So I go to P from Q when the input is 1 1. So while I am at R, a 0 0 takes me back to R and 0 1 and 1 0 takes me to P so I combine these two they are taking me to P and at R if I get a 1 1 I go to Q so 
so one one will take me to q so that is how the asm chart for a two bit input for a moore machine is drawn it is pretty simple once you figure out this logic of x and y's relation with each other as input and i hope this tutorial was of help and if you liked the content give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel i'll see you in the next video take care and bye bye